Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's Wednesday, February 27th, 2019. Here are your latest church militant headlines. A dubia cardinal is declaring the Vatican sex abuse summit a failure. Cardinal Walter Brandmuller said Monday in comments to the media that the summit deliberately ignored homosexuality, saying, quote, discussing the problem of homosexuality would have become dangerous for them because it's evident there is a network of homosexuals in the Vatican, close quote. Brandmuller traced the crisis to the late 1960s when heresy infiltrated Rome's pontifical Gregorian University and the North American college fostered an atmosphere of homosexuality. The Cardinal encouraged the work of faithful Catholic journalism, praising its role in breaking the conspiracy of silence. Bishops who aided and abetted Theodore McCarrick must be held accountable. This from Texas Bishop Joseph Strickland. Referencing a 2004 Meet the Press interview in which McCarrick denounced clerical sex abuse, Strickland tweeted Monday, quote, This despicable video is from 2004. All who supported, promoted, and are affiliated with this evil man need to be called to accountability. Pray that the recent summit will take these concrete steps and pray for the victims. Since the McCarrick scandal first broke, Strickland has emerged as one of the strongest advocates for Bishop's repentance and reform. A Vatican Cardinal's denying his secretary hosted a drug-fueled gay orgy. Cardinal Francesco Coco Palmerio told Info Vaticana last week that reports that his secretary, Monsignor Luigi Capazzi, hosted the 2017 cocaine-fueled party in the Vatican were false, saying, quote, they have invented that in their apartment there was a meeting between homosexuals with drugs, all false, all invented, close quote. Church Militant and LifeSite News verified with unimpeachable sources in Rome that the gathering did take place and even that Coco Palmerio himself was there. More than 400 Nebraska Catholic churches and schools have been subpoenaed. On Tuesday, the state attorney general demanded files from church offices in all three dioceses in Nebraska, saying, quote, the department believes that subpoenas are necessary in order to ensure all reports of impropriety have been submitted to the appropriate authorities. Investigations began in Nebraska after Pennsylvania's own explosive grand jury report was released in August, revealing more than 300 alleged predator clergy abusing more than 1,000 victims. Gavin McInnes is suing the Southern Poverty Law Center for defamation. In a lawsuit filed earlier this month, the conservative commentator is accusing the far-left group of publishing false, damaging, and defamatory statements about him. More than 60 individuals and groups are currently considering legal action against the Southern Poverty Law Center, which lost two multi-million dollar lawsuits last year for defamation. The radical leftist organization recently published an updated list of hate groups, naming for the first time Church Militant as a hate group. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your Church Militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about the Pope's cover-up of abuse. And check out the download, where the panel discusses upholding infanticide. God bless you.